for the bowlers, I think if we really had to pick out one name, and we've uh, seen a lot of names in this series, somebody who didn't feature in this particular series, but certainly been a plus from the second string of India's quicker bowlers, and it's been Deepak Chahar. Uh, 16 wickets in this short period in nine matches, and he's shown himself biggest plus probably his adaptability from a one-dimensional bowler into being bowl, what, yeah. able to bowl at different parts of the That's what you look for in a bowler. Is is he capable of playing different roles? Is he a one-dimensional bowler? MS Dhoni wanted him to be a certain kind of bowler at CSK. Actually picked him out. We thought Deepak Chahar had, had gone after that uh, amazing Ranji Started. Trophy debut. Just a medium pace swing bowler. The pace is up already. Much like Bhuvneshwar did. Eh? When Bhuvneshwar came, he was just over medium pace. The pace started to go up, then the swing came back. So, MS wanted to use him a certain way for CSK, but he's shown that he can also play both roles. So, if India have uh, Bumra, Chahar and Shami playing, then Chahar actually likes bowling up front, Bumra and Shami like bowling for the back, so it'll work perfectly. So, I, he, he's, been, he's been a revelation. He can also give you runs down, down the order. So, he's, he's been on the bowling front, one of the biggest pluses. And also, of course, someone who is playing in this series and is playing in today's game, uh, Navdeep Saini, also another big plus, also grabbing an opportunity knowing when the likes of Bhuvaneshwar Kumar not around at the moment, uh, knowing he won't get too many matches to prove himself. Yeah, in fact, when I see Navdeep Saini, he reminds me of very early Umesh Yadav, you know, when he came onto the scene in 12 13, you burst onto the scene. Big, huge national ability, you know, you have that body. And the plus point with people like Umesh and Navdeep is because they are basically so strong, okay, it's not so much about dynamics. They, tend to be, of course, I say this, this thing, tend to be less injury prone. So, he's a big plus and the thing is that, look, you have a frame and a body to work with. You have a good captain, somebody like a Navdeep Saini over the next three, four, five years will be a huge asset because, you know, as you can make out that Umesh is now probably coming closer to the next couple of years, he's going to slowly start winding up and Navdeep is a perfect, for me, he's the Umesh replacement in your team, that big guy, big strong guy who even you know, he can deliver a 140 under any circumstances. He doesn't need his biorhythms to be absolutely right. And you need a player like that in the team. You need a workhorse.